he wants to send messages, he sends it from a variety of different people just to give you confirmation. There's an old saying, documentation means conversation. And these individuals were documented. And this would also, I believe, in business. Documentation means conversation. Not I show my bank account not to brag, but I'm showing my bank account to give people an understanding. If I could do it, you can too. You understand? Also, I testimonials by their fruits, you will know them. So I show the fruits. And we've been in a beta test since 2014. We're going to pre-launch this summer. And then we're going to launch on my birthday in, in 2017. So my whole goal now that we've got businesses and we teach people how to develop multiple revenue streams. And one of the things we talked about was being personal credit worthy and business credit worthy. That's why we're now interviewing 100 churches. And it's not a process where we're going to let everybody in because this first 100 have to be special churches. And having an uh, organization and, and uh, to be meeting at this particular meeting where you guys emphasize unification amongst clergy and unification amongst churches, we felt this is the best place to introduce it. This is history in the making right now because this is our first Stewards Rise Up meeting. And right now, as Brian says, this is being televised live over the internet, where thousands of individuals can take part. We're also working with a group called Sunday Streams, which allows pastors to get their message out for a very inexpensive price. Because our whole goal was to go find resources, not just financial resources, but resources that will help spread the message. You know, our goal, one of our goals is to help 100 million Christian entrepreneurs. Why? Because if we help the entrepreneurs, then we also can help our communities. Can we all agree with that? Amen. See, the key to having, yes, first we have to be personal credit worthy, and we have to teach our community something extremely important. That's the dynamics of a 700 school. See, that's the elephant in the room. That's the thing that people don't like to talk about. They try to look at the quick solutions to success, but the quick solution is not there. The long-term solution is there. See, when you have credit challenges, how many people know people with less than perfect credit? Anybody in this room? See, everyone's nodding their head. Well, that's an epidemic. So to not acknowledge that and to accept that is going to bring down our communities, not bring it up. And by their fruits, you will know them. I have 700 scores, but my daughter does too. My daughter has a 747 credit score. She's 26 years old. She recently was able to go to Culver City Honda and purchase a vehicle at a 1.9 interest rate. And she didn't need dad to co-sign for her. Now let me ask you a question. If my child has that opportunity, shouldn't everybody in this room child have that same opportunity? Now think about this. Let me repeat that. If my child has that opportunity, shouldn't every child have that opportunity? Yeah. If we want to enhance the community, we've got to understand the dynamics of cash or credit. Like you heard me say, this is this is equals to what we're talking about today. Cash is king, but credit is queen. And we know you can't be a good king without a good queen. Can we all agree with that? That's even in business. If we want to help what we're doing in our community, Rodney, put that picture up with the, uh, okay. What, we, what we're doing now is, is we're also showing how we can generate income. Right now, we just put together, we've got our second house we put together that has uh, eight beds and has, uh, uh, excuse me, eight bedrooms and 15 beds. Why? Because we're, we're providing beds for homeless veterans. And we're providing beds for also people in need. This is our second one in our beta test. And Deborah Day, who's here, has, you heard, Women Inspiring Women. This is for women veterans. So think about this. This is our second one. And don't you think we can go to the churches and say, look, this is how we did it. We're going to give you step by step on what we did, how we did it, and the way we did it. But also, we got to teach entrepreneurship, because I'm an entrepreneur. I said, my goal is to help 100 million entrepreneurs, Christian entrepreneurs. Now, all races, all financial backgrounds, it doesn't matter what religion you have or what belief you have, as long as it's principally based, we have to unify, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Jewish, you understand what I'm saying? But the key to, because we're all living in the same community, do we not? So if we unify everybody, we have one language. There's one language we all need to have. You heard this over and over again. 
You need to be personal credit worthy and business credit worthy. Now, if you don't want to be business credit worthy, that's okay. Support the businesses. And the key is we look for 700 scores. There's a program that we've been able to tap into, and it's an educational program. We're not a financial uh, company, we're an educational company, and we connect you to the resources, like Sunday Streams. This company was put together to help small churches pass the message out to the community. A lot of people don't know about that. I'm saying we need to communicate. Communication is the key. Very inexpensive. You can broadcast. We can help these small churches get the message out. Then also the 100 banks. Well, how can we get 100 banks? I'm not sure if you heard about the bailout when Obama bailed out the banks. A lot of that money was supposed to go into the communities. But people didn't know how to tap into that. So my resources, I'm blessed to be part of a group. It's called the Billionaire Circle, which are millionaires striving to be billionaires. I'm a little micro dot in the group. I'm the smallest of the small, but I'm in the group. See, poor people look for people to give them money. Rich people look for people to give them resources. So I look for resources. So because we're an educational company, where you go to the front door of the bank, we go right to the underwriters who make decisions. And I don't want to get into all the intricate details, but if you want the money, you've got to go to the people who really approve it. And you'll be surprised how a lot of the underwriters think organically when they want to help the community, but they don't have access to you. Because you've got to go through the bank, whether, I won't mention the banks, but you've got to go through them to get to the decision makers. Well, we got direct access because we're our educational company. And because we do that, there's a new program for new and existing businesses that people don't know about, where you can get 25000 to 100000 And then, but remember, it's money that is, uh, that it's money from the bank, so it's money that you owe, so you gotta manage it. That's why we believe in wealth creation. It's not just getting the money, it's also managing it and investing it in the right places and teaching people the dynamics, once again, of being personal credit worthy. Now, here we go, here's the next one business credit worthy. So when you teach people how to be business credit worthy, because our church is businesses as well. See, a lot of churches and a lot of leaders, they are spiritually driven, but there's balance. There's social, emotional, physical, mental, spiritual. How about the financial? See, if we teach the leaders how to be successful, and then we unify, watch this, when I point, say 500,000. Now, individually, one million. Together, one million, two million, three million, three million, five hundred thousand. Now, watch that. Individually, five hundred thousand, but together, three million, five hundred thousand. Are you guys catching that? We got to help them individually. But now, let's say these individuals say, "Hey, we want to support someone's church. Can you do it?" Or let's say we want to get a home to help veterans or help the homeless. Maybe we could do it individually, but can also we do it together? See, that's why we're showing, we're gonna have an open house of our, of, of our home that's not far from here. It's on Harvard Street, Deborah? Yeah. It's on Harvard, it's gonna be on the, on the 22nd of April. We wanna invite everybody down. Also, we're having a training on the 23rd, where it's, this training I've, I've conducted over a weekend for $800. And on one day, $400. About for our members, $10 down, $10 a month, it's $200. But for this first time, we're doing it for only $70. And the reason why is from nine to six, we're gonna educate you on number one, how to be personal credit worthy. Number two, how to be business credit worthy. Number three, not just set up a nonprofit, but build it up. See, it's, this is a nonprofit entity, but cannot, can this not be built up? And then also what Brian had mentioned, in the churches we're going to set up what we call small business developmental centers. Where the individuals from the community, catch this vision, who are entrepreneurs. How many people in this community do you think want to be entrepreneurs? Don't they need a resource to go to? Well, here's one of the resources. Pastor Culpepper is one of our first group leaders that we're going to utilize to help not just him, not just his church, but also to do an outreach into the community. 
And he's, he's a testimony himself of his credit scores being increased. His sister-in-law, we were working on his credit, took a year and a half. She's in the 700s. We just approved her for $37,000. Now she's getting ready to use our formula to open up her own nonprofit organization, where she doesn't have to figure it out. We've already done it. Two years of testimonials, working hard, but now we're ready to spread it to the Christian entrepreneurial ministry. But it's not just that, just the concept, even individuals who don't want to be business owners, to the families. Because if your children aren't growing up and understanding the dynamics of a 700 school, let me repeat that, if your children are not growing up and understanding the truth dynamics of a 700 school, shame on you. Because maybe you didn't know before, but now you know now. That's a major key to empower our community. See, money's like blood. You know, if you don't circulate blood in your body, what's gonna happen? You're gonna die. If you don't circulate money in the community, what's gonna happen? It's gonna die. Has not our community's been dying. Now it's time to revitalize. It's time to educate, motivate, and inspire people to be the best they can be. And it's an honor and a privilege to be here today. I hope I didn't speak too long, but it's also an honor and privilege to be with this man of vision, who we highly respect. And we're 100% we're behind this church. And we're gonna do whatever we can to obviously personally help his family, also help his church family, and also help the people in the community. But we're only looking for a specific first 100. When we launch, we're going to open it up for everybody. But the first pioneers have to have vision. We're looking for visionaries. We're looking for individuals who can think outside the box. As you know, Jesus had to choose the right people for his apostles, right or wrong. He couldn't choose anybody. And they weren't perfect, as we all know. But they were the right people. So we're looking for the right people. As I always says, three types of individuals in this world, people make things happen. People watch things happen, and people say what happened. It's an honor and a privilege to be here with people who make things happen. We'll see you at the top. Be blessed.